know, I always look forward. Uh, you know, the, the, they did a, a thing on Sunday, CBS Sunday morning, and it was all about all the stuff that um, I had done in the past. And I had forgotten all about those things because I never think about what I did. I only think about what I'm going to do. And I've always got some project. I'm one of those guys who is a creator. I just like doing. I'm a human doing instead of a human being. And I know that's not good, but it's, I've always been like that. I like creating. I like having a project. I like having something to do over there. And I really don't think about back there. Once I'm finished with a, something, I'm on to the next project. I'm on to the next song, next album, next TV show. I like creating. I like having the next project. And so far, it's, it's worked. Yeah, well, it's Harmony, which is the name of the Broadway musical. Bruce Sussman, my uh, collaborator who wrote the book and the lyrics, we started about 30 years ago with this project. We wrote the story, we wrote the score, we wrote the, the script, and then we went on to try to get it in the theater, and we did. We got it at the La Jolla Theater, and it was a big success, and we thought, well, that will we go right to New York. We couldn't get to New York. The uh, producers just couldn't get it there. And we hit every brick wall that we could hit with this wonderful musical. And you would think that Bruce and I would have given up, but we never gave up. We believed so much in this story uh, that we just kept pushing for it. And we finally got the right producer, Ken Davenport, and he took it all the way into New York and on Broadway. And finally, uh, it's, uh, it's happened. So that is the project that I am the most proud of and the most excited about. <music> the story is amazing. Uh, it's the true story of a singing group that was very popular back in the 20s and the 30s. And they were so huge, it was amazing because Bruce and I had never heard of them. They were called the Comedian Harmonists and they were kind of a combination of the Manhattan Transfer, that kind of very sophisticated singing, and the Marx Brothers, a uh, vaudeville kind of crazy comedy, the comedian harmonist. And they were huge, I mean huge, 13 movies and millions of records. Bruce and I said, how come we don't know who these men are? And when we looked up why we, why we don't know who they are is the story of harmony why we don't know, and it's a really compelling story. We've been doing a Christmas show in my concerts uh, for about four or five years, and they, people just love it, and I love it, and my band loves it, and my crew loves it, and uh, I didn't think we were gonna love it that much, but we look forward to doing it every year. One of the reasons that I love it so much is that I've figured out a way of putting my hit songs into a Christmas special with the Christmas songs, uh, because I've had a couple of albums of Christmas songs too, and I've been able to put them together and it always feels still like a Christmas show, but there's all sorts of stuff in it that isn't Christmas, but it feels like a, a Christmas show. And because of that, it goes over even better uh, than if I had just done Christmas songs. It's been like that for the last five years that we've been doing it. And this year, NBC came in and said, uh, let's uh, tape it and put it on TV. And so it's on December 11th this year, and uh, we'll see if anybody else likes it the way I do. <laughs> I was gonna release a Christmas album this year, and I had started doing the arrangements and actually laying out uh, uh, 13 songs, 12 or 13 songs. I got up to Frosty the Snowman, <laughs> and I found a really interesting way of doing Frosty the Snowman. But uh, suddenly this year just exploded, and I just didn't have enough time to finish a whole Christmas album, but I had already done three Christmas songs, and one of them was All I Want for Christmas Is You, the wonderful Mariah Carey song, and it really is a wonderful song. It's a solid pop song. Uh, and it's a Christmas song. So I looked it up and I played around with the, uh, with the arrangement of it and I figured out how I would do it. I didn't do it the way uh, uh, Mariah did it. I 
played around with it and, and uh, did another version of it. And we released that. We have two more in the pipeline, but we released that one first. And everybody seems to really, I mean, as soon as I started playing it for anybody, uh, I knew there was something going on because everybody seems to flip out over it. Play it again, you know, play it again. When they do that, then you know you're onto something. And uh, so we were onto something and uh, we're crossing our fingers that this uh, becomes successful. I think we had to get permission from Mariah to do to do the song either on TV or uh, I don't know. And she heard it and she said, "She, I love Barry." She said, "So, so we got permission from Mariah." I was very happy. What's the most meaningful? You know, they are great people, and I think I make them feel good. And that's the most meaningful. I think I make them feel good. At least that's what it, that's what it seems like to me from the letters and from people stopping me uh, and telling me what they feel like when they come out of our show. And you know, that's what I think an entertainer should do. My goal is for them to feel better when they leave than when they came in. I have this fantasy of when they leave, they, they kiss their wives and they don't yell at their kids and they go out to dinner and they're happy and it's my fantasy that they're feeling so good when they leave that they don't yell at their kids and they don't kick the dog because they're feeling good. That's, that's, my, that's my fantasy. Well, that's an interesting uh, experience. Uh, you know, I never really thought about children or toddlers. That's very interesting. Uh, you know, I see what Kirsten goes through. You can't take your eyes off these little babies. They'll get into trouble. You have to watch them 24 hours a day. It's a, it's quite a job. Being a mother is quite a job. I've never really uh, thought about it. However, um, my relationship with Raven is beautiful, but I don't do it 24 hours a day. You know, she calls me Papa, which is great. It's sweet. She's sweet. She's, she's this big. You know, learning to talk and learning what the world is, it's beautiful to see. An Oscar? No, I'm not into the movie part. You know, I mean, I, you know, I've written some movie songs, but uh, I, I really haven't. Uh, I haven't really thought about that. Uh, but you know, with Harmony uh, opened, you know, it would be nice to be nominated for something like the Tony Awards. You know, that would be nice. But we'll, we'll see. Being with family, yeah, we don't do too much of it. I'm usually on the road. Uh, but, you know, when we can, we, uh, that, that's, that's the best part of it, being with family and friends. Thanks so much for watching. Did you like that video? You can check out more over here, and don't forget to subscribe to iHeart right here. And if you're already a longtime fan, make sure you ring the bell down below so you don't miss a single video. See you next time.